Hey, what's up, guys? I want to talk to you guys about the new iPhone 4S and Blackberries, and I want to let you guys know how I feel about why, in the last couple years, iPhone is blowing up, Android's blowing up, Windows Phone 7 is kind of blown up, and why I think Blackberry is um, failing. And this is not just me and my opinions. It's the opinions of uh, CrackBerry.com, and if you're a big BlackBerry user, you will know what CrackBerry.com is. It's basically the number one BlackBerry site out there, and even the owner, like the CEO of RIM and BlackBerry has admitted that uh, the reason why BlackBerry is failing is not basically the, the, the market share, they say it's the lack of apps and I would agree with that because when you go on iOS and you use Android you look at the app market there's like two three hundred thousand apps in like uh, Android and there's like a couple almost a million apps in iOS and when you go to Blackberry there's like ten thousand apps and they say that's the main reason why Blackberry is failing is the lack of apps because a lot of people want these high quality apps like Angry Birds or Netflix and iOS has that but Blackberry doesn't and I was always curious why does Blackberry always fail when it comes to apps about four years ago Blackberry in about 2007 2008 they were the number one selling cell phone and put it this way guys they came out in 1999, way before iPhone was ever heard of. And I was wondering why BlackBerry has just flopped off. Is it they're not, um, mo their, their mobile experience is not as great as Android or iOS? I'm just curious what your guys' opinion is. I, I know why uh, BlackBerry isn't doing that good, but iOS... They're mobile. They took the mobile experience to an, a whole nother level. They're the best mobile experience because I use an iPod Touch, and the experience on on it is amazing. You got crazy uh, 3D gaming, really good web browsing. I don't really use, but um, really guys, why is it that iOS gets so much attention and so much people will line up around the buildings and no other phones do that and like I said in the beginning there was tons of smartphones way before the iPhone there was uh, pocket PCs there was a um, Palm Trio that was really good device back then you had the Samsung Blackjack you had Windows uh, Mobile 6.5 uh, smartphones out there but none of them blew up like the iPhone and I'm always curious why did the iPhone take off you say, a lot of people say, well, it's a touchscreen. It was innovative. There was a lot of touchscreen devices. And I, I like, iPhone said when it first came out, there was no apps. We're not going to use apps. And one thing without rambling on, guys. Um, do you think the reason why the BlackBerry is dying off, it's not a smartphone, it's a feature phone? Because the internet sucks on it. It's slow. It has not very many apps and it hasn't really been innovative in the last um, five years it stayed the same design um, has what a 3.2 megapixel camera um, the only thing going for it is it, it's a uh, has the best keyboard it has very good email but um with that said, I'll talk to you guys next time. But I want to say this. The new BlackBerry Tor or BlackBerry Bold 9900, it's a beast. But to be honest, will it compete with...